what's up everybody this is squall snake editor-in-chief of mygamer.com and blogger at squallsnake.com and today i am playing lost odyssey the lost and found on xbox one been playing this for a while a few hours and um in a nutshell i kind of hate this game it is a metroidvania mixed with roguelike so you play as this guy, um, this like toy soldier guy, and the story is is your owner, um, uh, some kid who's having nightmares, and so you're trying to stop his nightmares by rummaging through the house and figuring out what's going on. Um, it's a pretty simple game if you think about it. So you can you move left, right, you run around, and you just got basically one attack button. Uh, and then you jump. I did upgrade my jump to a double jump, and I can dash now using the right trigger. Um, so combat is pretty pretty straightforward. Um, you just kind of hack and slash your way through. The gimmick here is that you'll, you'll like this thing right here is this crate that you hit Y, and I, you grab a bunch of nuts, which is like currency. And then you grab a bunch of just crap, like pieces of tape and... Uh, coils and batteries and things and you use those to upgrade your base the room that I was just in because when you're out venturing here the story goes that the bad toys that um, the, the toys apparently like that the owners forgot about like that's what I'm fighting right here um, see this guy just jumped through the, the platform just a little weird um, these bad toys attack at night and when you're not there and then they steal your crap so it's like you spend all this time here's a light switch i'm gonna turn on you get a little stuttering of the frame when you hit that um so here's another chest let's see if something pops out so just grab something every time you break something you drop a frame more than a frame but um See, there's a key, so I just picked up a key. So you need it, so I'm going to hit, I'm just going to, um, if you look in the, uh, well, there's this bear here that's distracting me. And they just kind of keel over and die. So some doors from the mini-map require a key to open. And you get keys by just, they'll just be randomly uh, there on the ground. You could break a, an item and they'll appear. Um, you can even kill an enemy and sometimes an enemy will drop them. Um, you can take fall damage. And sometimes there's stuff in the background. Like the, the game has a pretty crazy, you know, detailed background. It's, you know, sort of impressive. Um, the problem is, is sometimes you just don't know what is, oh, here's a power station, so I'm going to turn this on. And now my mini-map, if you see in the upper right-hand corner there, um, now becomes visible. So then if I hit the back button, you kind of get a, a shot of what's going on. Here's your Metroidvania. The thing is, is if you die, this whole entire map changes every time you play. So right now, for example, I'm not on night 26. When I die, it'll be night 27. Some bad guys will steal my crap in my house, and this entire map will change. Um, the other big problem with this game is, so right on the left side of the screen, I have yellow text and, and white text. I can't really read that. The text is so freaking small. It's basically impossible to read. And I'm playing on, you know, a, what, a 46-inch TV I'm streaming this from sitting, I don't know, eight feet back maybe from my TV, and I can't even read that. Maybe it's different if you're playing it on PC and you're, you know, just a few inches away from your TV, uh, from your monitor, then you can maybe read it, but the font is like 0.6 font, it's, or uh, 0.2 font even, 0.6 is too big for that. Um, I'm going to hit unlock here, let's go up. So the quest that I have now is something like I have to... Um, what is the quest? Destroy 10 bugs. 0 of 10 and search for in the bedroom. Now, what I don't understand, like, I've been trying to complete this quest now forever, for hours. 
and I have no idea how to, what they want me to do in the bedroom. You start in the bedroom, there's nothing in the bedroom. So I'm totally lost. I don't know what to do. I'm just hoping that if I play long enough, I will eventually figure it out, and I'm probably gonna die against the spider. You can hit, there, I hit the B button, I threw my ninja star. Okay, so I fall and the night was quiet. Okay, so nothing happened, no bad guys took any of my stuff. I brought all this crap back. So now I'm on night 27 here. If you click on this thing, this is where you can upgrade. And I'm missing stuff. I can't even read the screen because the font is so small. But there's little red numbers you're missing. So, um, so this is stuff that I don't have enough of something that you want to upgrade to. I seriously cannot read anything that's on the screen right here. Boxed up. This is the only thing that I got. Um, so you use these things to like upgrade your defenses when you're not there, so this way your crap doesn't get stolen from you when you're out venturing. It's a pretty, honestly, it's like a pretty brutal system because, you know, if, if I would have went out, I would have gotten nothing when I've died. It's like you work so hard to get your crap and then they just steal it. And here's you could craft stuff, weapons. I haven't really made anything because I don't understand this and I can't read anything. Um, swords, the font is so bad. Um, here's another, this is your inventory. So if I had a backpack, I can put that on a gadget. Um, if you hit the right bumper now, you can upgrade. So here's my, my head, so here I'll upgrade my... Spend a few uh, nuts and upgrade. And if I do one more, his head, his hat will change or something. There you go, and I'm bucket head because that's cool. You have no say in what the bucket head is or what you change to, it just, like, does it. Sure. Alright, let's go try that. So, here, I hit the back button again. Um, as you can see, the map is all empty now. So, everything that I just did was uh, uh, basically for nothing. So you gotta do it all over again, which is the point of this game. That's where the roguelike element comes into play. So I have no, so again, I gotta do something in my bedroom. I was just in the bedroom. Um, don't know what's going on. I'm just aimlessly wandering around. I've been doing this for hours, which is another reason why I hate this game because it tells you what to do, but I have no idea where to go. And the music is kind of creepy. If you listen long enough, you'll just hear like babies laughing or crying. Every screen you go to has to load. There's a diary page, so these you can unlock. I can't read any of that at all. Didn't they play test this game and they say, hey, the font, you, you know, you can't actually read it. So you have all these living room and household items just come. Like, there's nothing over here. Why would you go over here? Like, that's the problem with these randomly generated dungeons. They often lead to just nowhere. So here's another spider that's going to kill the hell out of me. And you take a bunch of fall damage. These ninja guys are assholes. So if you hit the B button, you can throw your secondary weapon. In this case, it's the ninja star that kind of boomerangs around. Um, I'm going to go... Oh, there's some nuts. I'm going to go look for the light switch. There's an achievement. I've gotten a couple achievements, but there's one to turn on all the light switches. 
and uh, easier said than done, but so you get the light, now you can see everything. I guess this is the kitchen. Here's a baby. <laughs> it's like, it's just creepy. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but... Army man, cool. What was that? Oh, these rat hole things. So you hit Y, and then these rats come out of here, and then you use these rat holes as basically warp points. So if I unlocked a different rat hole, I can hit Y here, and then I could teleport somewhere else, but this is my first one, so I can't teleport anywhere. Yeah, so these blob things just keep breaking down. There's a chest. I got a paper clip. Awesome. So clearly this is the bathroom. There's always spiders in the bathroom. Watch out for those. Here's a diary page. Great. I'm not gonna read that because I can't. Got another key. Yeah, sometimes platforms just fall on fall on you for no reason. The fall damage is annoying. You know what, there's actually an achievement, Die by Velociraptor. I'm gonna have this guy kill me. I think he's gotta kill you like, I was like a couple times, three times or something, but I've never seen one of these enemies. This is the first time I think I've seen one. So let's go back, you've fallen. The house, okay, nothing, nobody stole any of my stuff. Okay, good, I brought back some crap. And you can only bring back, you can only hold so many items as well. So here's this, what you can talk to this guy, me? he gives you quests and stuff. Get to, I, honestly I cannot read any of that, but he gave me a quest. And then this guy. All quiet on the western front. Home is where the heart is, Brand. So, yeah. Oh, here's the diary. So these are those pages that I collect. I guess you can... Read, yeah, see, here's one. I think you get an achievement for getting all the diary pages or something, but... Again, look at the background. It's pretty detailed here. You know, they put a lot of work into that, but you still get some dead ends and uh, some platforms that you can't platform on that you think you can. Here's this asshole. This guy is the worst. out for the origami another diary page Man, 
man, that baby creeps me out. Enemy kill another enemy. What is this? Hold memory? Alright, I guess I will go up. What does that say? Come back and talk. Oh, a kitchen sink something? I guess I completed an objective that... Uh, what does that say? Destroy ten bugs. Kitchen sink done. Alright, I gotta go back and talk with that guy. Complete my quest, I guess. Another sword? A claymore? You see, combat just kind of sucks. It's just bash the X button and kill things. Just kind of hit and run. So here's another example of a dead end. And I almost just killed myself. No. See, and then you put the rat hole next to the door, and it's mapped to the same button. Yeah, this is fun. Let's just button mash the hell out of this. Alright. So here's a pot. You think you might be able to, like, stand on this pot? Nope. Whoa, look at this guy. Okay, you can't duck under that either. The other thing that's weird is just, here's a door on the floor. Like, when do you get a door on the floor? It's just kind of weird. I guess I understand why they do it from a gameplay standpoint, but... What does that say? I can't read it because the font is too freaking small. Maybe I need a key? Or no, I already have a key. Whoa. Yeah, see, you can only hold so much stuff before your inventory gets full. And so, like, here's this thing I can't pick up. I don't know what it is. Another annoying... I guess you gotta get a bigger backpack or something. The drop frames are killing me here. Whoa. Okay, they did not steal my stuff, but I brought a bunch of stuff back. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to this dude and complete, or this guy and complete my quest. Uh, I got some nuts. Yay. What have you got for me? Hmm? I can't read that either because the font is too small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can buy something now. It takes so much to buy. See, what the... I can't still buy any defenses. 
No. And this whole mechanic where you can just build these defenses for guys that just infiltrate your bedroom when you're not there, I think it's just kind of bullshit. It just gives you... It gives the game an excuse for, yeah, just go out there and wander and go collect stuff, and then we can just do something with the stuff that you collect. It's kind of pointless and annoying. Not a fan of it. Alright, so let's try this again. So again, as you can see... See, I don't know what these guys are. Like, Mr. Hanky's running around. Okay, it looks like a Final Fantasy character. Oh man, a slot machine. Why can't I spin anything? I just want to spin. Why? A. Hey! Why can't I play this stupid game? Fuck, that's annoying. What was that? I can't kill this guy. activated. Uh, I th think I have 50. Maybe that's why. Alright, I'm going to hit A. There we go. And I get an achievement for it, and I got nothing. One nut. Awesome. All right, continuing on this horrible adventure. See, this room already had the light on. I don't know if that's because I activated it before, but since everything is different every time, I thought you'd have to hit the light switch every time. I'll take that, bug. my Velociraptor. This pad, normally you can hit down and A and go through pads, but 
Apparently not that one. If I go back to the guys who respawn. That doesn't look like it. Look at this running animation, it's like weirdly jerky. I don't know. Toy Odyssey. die just so all right let's win something come on magnets no screw you Cause that's fair. Bummer. Uh, and see, and this is the kind of crap I'm talking about. So my base was raided while I was out. They took all this stuff, and there's really nothing you can do about it. All right. So I got. Some stuff. No. No. Didn't I get a hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, maybe this. But I don't have a thumbtack. So I can't craft it anyway. Awesome. Alright, let's go out one more time and get killed and... We'll call it a day. See, these stupid like things jump around. Like I, I don't know what these things are, what they do, what they get you. The game hasn't told me. At least not yet.
here's another platform to nowhere. Hmm. We won't go that way. Right about to get blown the fuck up. How did I not get hit there? Wow. What is this thing? Dude. Yeah, we're not fighting that mouthed tennis ball. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, go ahead, take more of my shit, that's fine. Alright, yeah, okay, take more than I bring in, great. Nope, still can't build anything. This has been Toy Odyssey Lost and Found on Xbox One. You could follow me at mygamer.com. I'll post this stream there, a full written review in time. Uh, you could follow me on my personal blog at squallsnake.com, and you could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. We usually stream every Wednesday night, um, Wednesday evening, um, so keep your eye out for that. And you could follow our Twitter feed at, at MyGamerNews um, on Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff too. So um, thanks for watching, and until next time, game on.